My name is Gordon Hell. If you don't know, uh, me, I'm, I'm founder and managing director of Pole Position Travel, and I'm absolutely delighted to, for the fifth year now running, to invite a number of the rising stars in, uh, in this great country in the field of motorcycling to uh, come and join us and, and meet some of you and, and their entourages and the people, some of the people behind the scenes that make all this work. This is always, obviously, a very cool event uh, for us. Uh, those of you who don't know me, you'll, you'll, you'll hear my accent, it's a bit not really that English, but uh, I've lived more than half my adult life here, I consider myself more Brit than anything else, and uh, certainly it's a country that bats way, way, way above its average uh, in this sport. Maybe not so much in football, but I... <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I support Scotland, so just give me a break. <laughs> Um, I'd like to, there's a whole bunch of people in here that I'd like to, love to introduce tonight, and, and we'll be obviously, you know, getting to know a few of them real soon now. I am going to uh, say that if, one of the things that's always amazing, when I started this business, we did our first event in 2002, and here's a trivia question for, how many British riders across all three classes were racing in Grand Prix in 2002? Any guesses? It's not none, no. Four. Four? Who said four? All right, you get an extra beer. <laughs> we have one in MotoGP. Who was riding 2002 MotoGP? Oh, hmm. Yes, McWilliams, Jeremy McWilliams. Any idea where he ended up in the season? I cheated because I looked all this up just a few minutes ago. <laughs> yeah, he was 14th. <laughs> and he was the best placed Brit in all three classes. Uh, the, uh, uh, it is... Now we have gone to how many riders? This weekend we have no fewer than 12 riders participating in the four races that we've got on Sunday. And on you know, Saturday and Sunday, including the Brent Bull rookies. Uh, and, and many of these riders are absolutely star quality, for they're all star quality. And, I mean, we're, and to think that we get riders up to the level of, of Cal Crutchlow, and Bradley Smith and some of the younger riders you may not know a lot about, but they're going to set the uh, tracks alight over the next few years. To think that we get there with what is proportionally some of the worst sponsorship in, uh, in Europe uh, is an absolute testament to the dedication and the skill that, uh, that, you know, that we're bringing up the riders. And it's, it's also people like uh, the Racing Steps uh, Federation. Where are you? Peter, where are you? Some around. <laughs> anyway, we, uh, I know you'll we'll introduce some of those, uh, some of the wild cards later on. That is, you know, there's some programs that are going on which I think are just, you know, stunkingly great opportunities for some of the kids to uh, get in and get noticed. And let's hope they get into the best rides and get on the top of podium soon. Certainly in the MotoGP class, we've got some a lot of hope there, and uh, we'll talk to some of these guys in a minute. To start things off, though, uh, on a bit of a lighter note, I want to introduce Steve Keys. Uh, who, those of you who've ever watched some of the rantings he did last year in Valencia with Danny John Jules, or if you're here with us last year, uh, you'll, you'll, you'll may remember. Steve's got a little video for us. So, Steve, just uh, say a few words about this. Yeah, thanks, Gordon. Uh, first of all, Gordon's a really great sponsor and supporter of our projects, and uh, we obviously appreciate that. Uh, Anyway, last year we came up with a great plan to ride some R1s down to Valencia. Uh, Danny John Jules and myself, who hopefully most of you know, star of Red Dwarf and, and a few films and some other general stuff that he gets involved in. Um, and then Matt Roberts came along and said, uh, do you mind if I join you? So there was then the three of us. So for Riders for Health, we decided it was uh, a good idea to go down and film it. So we filmed it and uh, we've got some nice footage uh, that's going to be available soon. And uh, if you could play it as a little trailer video and then I'll, I'll tell you about what happened. So not much actually happened because we sort of got on the train and everything stopped, as you can now see. Oh no, here we go. Yeah, the length of the ride and everything. 
I'm most looking forward on the trip to just seeing people's reactions to, you know, a couple of sugar plum fairies riding down the road with what looks like Matt Roberts probably going to look like Night Rider on a bike. No more riding in the dark, rain, snow, that's it. We, we've got to be off the bike before dark. Uh, Danny Webb. 
And of course, the, uh, after Cal takes the uh, world title, the next one to follow in his footsteps the following year will certainly be Bradley Smith. <laughs> Um, the, uh, there are other people which I, I feel compelled to point out, just so you can heckle them later. Uh, I, uh, Derek Crutchlow, Derek, where are you? There, way in the back, if you, you know. Uh, uh, Cal's main sponsor, I, I, I might add, is there. Uh, professional, professional pit boarder. <laughs> professional, yeah, that's, that's right. right. Uh, and, and pilot. <laughs> hey, Dad. We've also got a secret heckler in the back in the form of Neil Spaulding. Uh, he'll ask all the tough questions. Yeah, and I'm actually not sure official job title. Is it like tech guru or something like that? Okay, perfect. <laughs> we just have a few other writers who just happen to pitch up, so I'm going to have to let you know they're in the room. But Danny Webb's got a brother that's very well on the Harley Davidson, uh, James Webb. Where's James? Yeah. Where's James? We've actually been supporting a young guy uh, in the uh, uh, in the World Superbikes, the new G KTM Junior class. He's the only guy who flies the flag of Pakistan, although he is uh, British. And Kaz Hashmi. Okay. And I'm sorry, I, I, I've forgotten. Like, you know, I mean, everybody in this room is a celebrity already. But I'm going to turn it over to a guy that I actually uh, uh, I think he almost ran me over at the Isle of Man last week. So, uh, and I so I railroaded him into this job. And Steve, I can't thank you enough for coming along. And uh, I'm going to pass you the mic and the other mic to the riders and uh, go have your way with them. Thank you. Okay, thank you very much indeed. Uh, love to see you all here. Um, I, I'm a bit in, embarrassed actually. I'm the only one with a glass of wine. You lot, not, you don't drink, I guess, on race night. I always did, it made, it made a herald, you know, used to crash out. Well, I think, uh, we'd just like to start off and how things have gone today. John, how's it gone? Uh, there is a microphone there, I think, uh, if we can wrestle that off of Gordon. How's it all gone today? Yeah, not so bad. Um, first session was okay, we were running quite well in the wet. Um, just five minutes to go, we jumped up to fifth place, which was a big surprise for us. Um, but then, unfortunately, I jumped off the bike. So, <laughs> okay, and was it painful? Yeah, not too bad. The line did a little bit funny, so I've got a bit of a bruise tip tonight, but... Okay. Yeah. Are, you, are your engineers and mechanics still talking to you? <laughs> yeah, only <I'm> just. <laughs> <laughs> right, no, no, no. Cle clearly you didn't. But where, where was that? Which corner? Um, turn two, the first left hand. Oh, was, was it? Yeah. Oh, right. Farm corner. Okay. And just wash out front of Yeah, nice high side, yeah. Oh, right. Okay. Yeah, so Good. But expectations? I mean, realistically? Yeah, realistically, in the way, I mean, top 10 would be lovely, but I don't know if it's pushing the limit a little bit high. So you you want it to piss down? <laughs> yeah, basically. Nothing nice is for the fans. Yeah, so bring your brollies on Sunday, will you? <laughs> but it, you reckon that's going to level it out a bit for you? Yeah, I think so, yeah. I mean, don't get me wrong, the bike's still working really well, and the team's been working really hard in the engine and chassis, and it's all starting to come together, but in the rain, it always kind of levels out a little bit. Okay, cool. So, uh, report, Fraser? Yeah, how's it going? Uh, session one was probably my better out of the two today. Um, that's 23rd overall for my first ever World Cup and well, first time in GP, yeah, so. Okay, yeah. round of applause there. Yeah. Do you enjoy the track, Silver Uh Yeah, it's, it's definitely a bit better in the, uh, in the wet, I think, for me this weekend. Um, the track's a lot better, and some of it's been re, uh, re tarmacked I think, as well. So in other, some yeah, I think the uh, Brooklands and uh, Luffield all around there got tar re tarmacked But I think it's bumpy going into the chicane just before the end, isn't it, now? Yeah. As you go in there, to, from Stowe down to there. Yeah. Well, I think some places it's got a bit grippier, where last year I think it was a lot slippier. And then, this is what John was saying, and then other places it's, uh, where it was grippier, it's got a lot slippier, so... Um, <laughs> <laughs> okay, well as long as you can find the grip, Brett will drive it. You're another one that wants to pee down there on Sunday. Yeah. God, it's all horrible, isn't it? Yeah, I'm going to definitely take my brolly along. Well, okay, well I hope everything goes right. Tobias tomorrow is very important. Danny, I walked into the commentary booth uh, this morning and uh, looked at my telly and saw you flying through the air. So talk us through that one. Well, I went out and... Uh... That was, was that that like worm on the track that comes up for you? No, I went out and I just thought, well, for, since I got here on Thursday, I just thought, you know what, I'm going to get my head down, I'll whatever happens, happens, I really couldn't give two. 
and said, so children in a room. Anyhow, we've, uh, we've gone out in the morning and we've, we've yeah, I was, I was pushing pretty hard. I felt good, you know, on the bike, I felt fantastic in the wet. And then uh, four laps in, off I go and uh, on my ass. Yeah, I think it was quite a big one actually, you're perfectly okay with it. It was, when it went, I thought, oh no, this one's going to hurt, and uh, it kind of flicked me, and then I just sprung myself off off the bike, and I was kind of just moonwalking through the air, so, uh, but yeah, you know, I got up from that, and um, someone asked me if, uh, if that was my bike or not, um, laying on the side of the, of, the, of the track, and I kind of said to the marshal, no, no shit, Sheriff, I just crashed, you know? but, uh, <laughs> So, um, I used to swear when I crashed you. Yeah, I, yeah, I do. Yeah, yeah, I do. I can, I can vividly remember slide. Yeah, I used to slide down the road with all sorts of, you know, I thought I had Tourette's at that point. I mean, <laughs> he's shouting and swearing. He did the same. I mean, is it, was I just abnormal as everyone doing? Yeah, I've done the same. Not, not really. I was doing it myself because I crashed so early on and I felt so good. Um, I thought, oh, what a dickhead, you know. Like, what an absolute knob. So. Anyway, I, I got back to the pits and I was hoping I was going to get the bike back, but I didn't get it back in time, so uh, the afternoon went good, you know, we, we, we were down on, on speed again quite a bit, but this track's not so bad, where it's got quite a few fast corners, our bike seems to handle good round of fast corners, so I've, I've been managing to uh, keep my corner speed up and, and keep my head down, but I just needed to let a group get in front and catch them around the circuit so I, by the time I got to the straight I just had that little bit of draft to help me without that I would have uh, I'd have struggled big time with this speed but uh, now we push out today and I can't say that um, I don't know how much more is left hopefully we can make the engine a bit quicker because I was uh, but you said um, you said the wind was a big problem not yours the wind out of the track <laughs> <laughs> I don't know it might have been as well no it was it was a big problem you know you kind of um, Going down one and straight, I think, is you, you kind of to put the bike towards the wing, but then as soon as you come under the bridge, it was it was all gone, so it was really weird. And as soon as you come out of the bridge, it was there again. It was, uh, but it wasn't too bad. It's all the same for everyone. And like with with wind like that, a slipstream does make a big difference. Okay, I just noticed the police have turned up, so you better duck under the table there. <laughs> and uh, pass the microphone along to Bradley. Bradley, uh, you had a good day. Yeah, surprisingly so. Um, actually surprised myself uh, with today's performance. Uh, third this morning in the rain. Uh, no, second this morning in the rain. Third this afternoon in the dry. Um, things seem to be looking good here, so... Uh, yeah, won't get too excited right now. But we'll I, see I was going to say, has anything changed? Has, is it the circuit you enjoy? Have you done much since Catalonia? Um, Basically just uh, giving my chief mechanic a bit of a hard time, you know, sending him back to, to do his job properly and, you know, go back and have a look at, you know, going over data and starting from, like, where we were good last year and what have we done now this year to, to make it so, you know, so uncompetitive, let's say. So uh, we, we kind of, like, looked here, looked there, and whatever the guy's done, he's worked his magic, you know, he's earning his money and... Uh, it's definitely worked today, so, you know, I'm okay. going to him. Was that the engineer, because you had some engineers in the r I think, didn't you, with him? Yeah, so two mechanics uh, were there, but it was actually Tom Yonick uh, that you'll, uh, you'll hear on Eurosport occasionally. Uh, see on the TV with his, uh, also known as uh, Canadian Tom. He's a bit of a media star. He is, is a bit of a media star, so I told him to stop doing his media work, a bit like a Tom Bailey. T told him to top, stop doing media work and concentrate on his job, but he's done a great job now, and uh, yeah, this morning was really good, this afternoon was good. Uh, we're still waiting for our aero package though, you know, a bit like Danny, bikes dead slow down the straight, but uh, we make up for it in the corners. Okay, um, dry, I mean conditions have been a bit awkward, windy and everything else, Sunday looks pretty good, do you think the bike's going to work in the dry? Um, it did this afternoon so I'm happy enough with that, um, you know, for the first session. Um, I went 0.2 faster than I did last year, the whole GP here, so, uh, you know, in these conditions from today that's a, a great positive sign. Um, but it's still 0.7 from, from first. Espadaro set the bar really high today, so uh, you got to you got to think if he does it, then the top five's going to do it, and then I have to close the gap, and you know then I get slowly shuffled back. But um, I got to you know up my game tomorrow and work on our weaknesses. Okay, we 
we've got a lot of supporters here, I know, and uh, well, it's just up the road from you, from uh, home. Uh, right, we've got another gentleman just turned up. Where have you been this morning? Uh, just, uh, hi, nice to see you. Bradley, uh, everything gone right for you today? Uh, yeah, not bad. Uh, this morning we had a few suspension problems, but uh, we seem to get sorted for second qualifying. Okay, um, conditions for you, do you find them tough? Uh, yeah, it was really windy out there, struggling, but not there. Okay, dead on. Um, but enjoying the Silverstone circuit? Yeah, yeah, it's not too bad. Have you done many laps around here? I've uh, done BSB race last year. Okay, oh, on the long Grand Prix circuit? Yeah. Okay, I didn't realise they did that, cool. Excellent, what times do you know? We can carry on here for ages, but I don't want to go and take up too much time. Gordon, you've got to tell me when I'm going to shut up. Good 15, 20 minutes. Okay, cool, absolutely perfect. How many questions from anyone out there wants to know anything about the weekend? If you've got any problems with your marriage, um, <laughs> docs, I, you know, I can do all sorts We're of things. We're going to Steve Parrish for marriage issues. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Dr. Parrish. But no, seriously, anyone got any questions for the lads here? Uh, and if you've got any questions for Cal and Derek's here to answer those. Uh, evening. Evening. Everything.